Discover the power of point of view. Hello, dear language learners. In today's video, we're going to delve into the realm of critical reading, more specifically into the concept of point of view. Knowing how to identify and understand the point of view is a fundamental skill in reading comprehension, as it helps us better interpret and evaluate what we read. So, let's get started. Point of view is the perspective from which a story is told. It can deeply affect our understanding of the story, influencing how we see characters, events, and issues. The point of view can be of the author, a character, or an outside observer. It's the lens through which we see the narrative unfold. There are three main types of point of view. First person. This is when the story is told by an I or we. The narrator is a character in the story who describes their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Second person. This is less common in literature. Here, the narrator speaks directly to the reader, using you to make the reader a character in the story. Third person. The story is told by an outside observer, using he, she, or it. This can be limited, focusing on one character's thoughts and feelings, or omniscient, where the narrator knows and can reveal anything about the characters and events. Identifying the point of view in a text involves determining who is telling the story. This requires paying attention to the pronouns used and how information is presented. First-person point of view is easy to spot because of the use of first-person pronouns like I or we. The narrator is also often emotionally involved in the events. Second-person point of view uses the pronoun you to directly involve the reader. In the third-person point of view, look for third-person pronouns like he, she, it, or they. The point of view can greatly shape the reader's interpretation of the events. A first-person narrator might be unreliable, revealing only what they want us to know. A third-person narrator might have more distance, offering a more objective perspective. Understanding point of view is crucial for two main reasons. It allows us to gain a deeper understanding of the text. Point of view shapes how we interpret the story and understand its characters and events. It also allows us to identify bias. Every point of view comes with its own biases and limitations. Recognizing these can help us critically evaluate the information and perspectives presented in the text. That brings us to the end of our discussion on point of view. We hope that you now have a stronger grasp of this concept and how it can profoundly affect your reading comprehension. Remember, understanding point of view is not just about identifying who is telling the story, but also about understanding how their perspective shapes the story. Keep practicing, and you'll soon become a pro at this. Happy learning and see you in the next video.